Now, <clears throat> let's talk about serving and caring. You will never be able to perform in fine dining if you are not skilled to carry properly plates and trays. So those are skills that you need to learn and practice until you're really, really good at it. Tray service. Proper posture. You got to understand that uh, sometimes those trays we carry are very, very heavy and we have to protect our backs. So always maintain a straight body posture when lifting and carrying a tray. Use your knees, don't use your back. Weight distribution, carry the heavy items closest to your body and close to the shoulder because if something happens and you lose balance, then the tray most likely will tilt on the side of the shoulder and you will have a chance to keep your balance because it's going to hit your shoulder. If it's on the other side, there will nothing but the floor. Now, right side rule. Every time you move through hallways and corridors and staircases, make sure you go on the right side for smooth traffic. All right, now handling food trays. Now, when you carry food trays, you know, heavy food trays upstairs, downstairs, heavy drink trays upstairs, downstairs, always help with your free hand. All right, going downstairs, upstairs with food tray. This is tricky. Make sure you stabilize the, the front edge of the tray with your free hand. Tray placement. When we bring the food plate, the tray to the table, you know, we are placing the tray on the tray jack or on the side station and from there we serve our guests. This is for the food. When we are talking about drinks, we are serving the drinks directly from the tray uh, to the guests. More tray service. When we're carrying empty trays, the tray should be carried vertically, you know, and that's it. Just close to your body vertically. That's how we carry empty trays. Weight distribution, you know, I said you put the heavy items on the on the inside next to your shoulder, but the weight has to be evenly distributed throughout the tray so you can have a balance and stability. Um, we can carry the trays on our palms or on our fingertips of course, if we have strong fingers, but you have more balance when you carry the tray on your fingertips. So guys, I would suggest you practice, you get stronger with time. Of course, more you practice, the stronger you get and you carry the tray on your fingertips. Sauce and hot beverage safety. This is important. Make sure that if you are, you know, you have sauce boats in hot tea pots you know the openings should be pointing to the middle of the tray not to your shoulder not to outside the tray because if you lose balance and you shake the tray and some of this hot stuff goes out of the pot we don't want to burn your shoulders and we don't want this to fall on the head of one of your guests so make sure those openings are always pointing to the middle of the tray Plate carrying, those are skills that you can learn no matter how hard you think right now that is, you can learn by practicing. And you see now how we handle those, you know, two plate carry, three plate carry, uh, even four plate carry, which is not implemented in the fine dining restaurants, but you will know because you sometimes that will be necessary. You have to have those like skills. That but it happens Three only down, with a lot of practice. Up. Now, left hand the service, plate. plates are carried with the left hand while serving and clearing the plate are stays done with the right two hand in Europe. In hand. All right, so in Europe, most of the restaurants will not allow this you to carry plates on a like. tray. 
you go to the kitchen, you take the plates, you carry the plates always hands. in front of your body. You carry not on the left, two not plates, on the right, let's say, not on up, your not left hand and anywhere. one plate on your right, right hand. You go to the in front table of your body, and you start serving so with your right hand from the right side. In the United States, you have to carry those plates uh, on a tray, workers, you go to the table, you right put here. the tray on a tray so, jack or on the side grip, station, very and easy, then you start serving with your left hand on the down, left side of up, the guest. You put the first plate, now we have two plate, grip techniques, second, all right? One is an overhand top, and the one is and underhand. Plate. And then you take the third and you go. Handling multiple plates. Now servers can carry a single plate, two plates or even three plates in one hand. Like I said, three plates carry in one hand is not implemented in fine dining, but sometimes it will happen. You have to be able to do it. So you got to learn that as well. Underhand grip. The underhand grip is a little bit different. We are using, again, those two fingers to carry the first plate. Usually, I keep this finger on the rim. Again, because this bottom is very, very hot. I keep this finger on the rim and this finger on the rim. Those three fingers will take the second plate. The second plate will hang also on the rim, on the first, on the bottom of the first. And then you hold it with your three fingers pretty safely, no moving. Now, the only thing about this grip is you have to be very careful when you have stress, when you're running, uh, how much pressure you put on this finger. Because if you put too much pressure, the plate will go down, the sauce will go down, you create a big mess. Nobody will be happy. Um, even if it doesn't go down, if you make too much finger, the angle, the, the sauce, the, the creation of the chef actually will be destroyed. And uh, again, the guest not going to be happy, the chef not going to be happy. So be careful uh, how much pressure you put on the finger. This is what it looks like. Nice and easy, guys. As I said, you should be prepared right now watching this video. Uh, have the plates in your hand. If you don't have the plates, stop the video, go get some plates and start doing it just like I do it right now in front of you so you can get some practice if you have not carried plates before that. And now, this is the two plates and you have to carry the three, the third plates in your hand. In case, guys, you have to carry more plates, we have the same grip, the underhand grip. We use this grip for carrying three plates. Just the same thing that I showed you before. And you take the third plate and you put it on the hand as this rim here stays on the rim of the plate. Now this is more complicated. If you have three plates with sauces and stuff like that, yeah, it's, it takes time to practice, to figure out exactly how those plates should be. And um, yeah, so you don't, you know, destroy the, the, the meal by the time you bring it to the table, to the guest. But anyway, this is the thing. You have the underhand grip. You, what I do is, guys, I just squeeze a little bit my hand. Yeah, just like that. So this ring comes close to my hand and just put the plate on the, on the hand and on the, on the plate. And that's it. Now, hot plate safety. When we are serving the hot dishes, those plates will be very, very hot in fine dining. Very hot. And you have to learn how to use napkins to carry those plates safely so you don't burn your hands or make an accident. What I do is I fold the napkins just three times. And you get something a little bit larger. And this is the napkin you should use to carry hot plates. Because this is how you can use the napkin for a overhand carry. Very nice and easy. And uh, no worries about getting burned or getting thing. Now, when it comes to carrying hot plates, forget about carrying three, four on whatever plates. 
you carry only two plates on your left hand and one plate on your right hand. This is all. Don't try to carry more plates because you're going to get burned or you're going to burn some of your guests, which is even worse, I guess. We are using overhand grip first. And the overhand grip is, like I already showed many times, three fingers down, two fingers up. When this plate is extremely hot coming from the kitchen, you cannot carry with your hands. You have to carry with a napkin. You set up just like you see it here. Three fingers down, two fingers up. Okay? You have to take this napkin, take this hot plate and put it in your hand. You still have the two fingers up, three fingers down, but just cover with the napkin. Now, if this napkin is not large enough, you're gonna burn one of your fingers. That's why I said you fold this napkin only three ways, three times. Now, again with the napkin, you take the second plate from the window in the kitchen and you put it on top. Trust me, this is perfect. This is all you need. You have the overhand grip, with two hot plates, then you take with the right hand and the napkin, the third plate. That's all you need, guys. Essential tools for service, all right? Now, the fork and the spoon are the universal working tools of the waiter. We use them in French service, in Russian service, to serve food from a food platter. And we have two different grips. One is the tongue grip and one is the flat grip. And you will see now how do we use those grips. Serving a food to a plate for the guest with a fork and a spoon. In some restaurants, we bring the food to the table in a food tray or just in a pan and you have to serve it for the guest. For example, catfish pits, we put the plate, empty plate in front of the guest and we have to serve him the meat, the sauce and some side dishes. How we do? This is the plate, the guest is sitting here. You go from the left side. This is your toughish pizza. May I serve it for you? Ask the guest. If he says says, you serve it for him. First of all, I will show you from up close how you catch this. But you have to learn to take the fork and the spoon from the plate with one hand, because the other hand already is busy, and make the set. That's how we do. May I serve you? Yes. Imagine if you cannot do it. <laughs> you don't want to do this in front of the guests. You take it and you set it up right away. Then your plate goes as close as possible to the plate of the guest as close as possible. You don't do it from here and try to take this because all the sauce is going to fall on the table, on the tablecloth and you don't do it from up because if you take the meat and you try to put it down some particles will fall down the plate splash all over the freaking guest and it's going to be a mess. So what we do is as close as to the table, to the plate and then you go for the meat you put meat in front of the guest, maybe some sauce for him, and then if there is a potatoes or anything like that, you turn the fork and you grab the potato and you put it in front of him. If it's just something that's flat like a meat or anything, you can keep the fork like that, go for it. But if it's a potato, don't try to take it like that, because this is not sleazy, but the potato is sleazy. And when you push it, 
it's gonna fly out of the first boom and it's gonna hit somebody in the face. So if it's a circle thing, it's a sleazy, turn the fork, you take it like that, and you put it on a plate. Don't put everything. You leave something in the food, you put one piece of meat, some garniture, and then you just leave the plate on the table next to the guest. Fork and spoon also, so he can serve the second, or you can come back and serve him the second part and just step back. Glassware handling. Now, when we are serving or clearing glasses, we do this only with a tray. In fine dining, we never carry glass by a hand, always on a tray. Proper handling, you know, we touch the steamware glasses only by the stem, the stemware glass, sorry. We touch the stemware glasses only by the stem and the tumblers by the lower third of the glass, at the bottom of the glass. So we do not leave fingerprints on the glass. We never ever put our fingers inside the glass. That is absolutely never ever. Let's say the guests have finished the table. Uh, they have like five, six glasses left on the table. They are gone. And you just grab those glasses with your fingers inside to play, to be quick and, you know, place them on a the tray or carry them like that. This is absolutely no. Stemware between fingers. Now, in a table setup, Stemware glasses can be carried with the opening downs, you know, you put them between your fingers and you can carry them to the table and you can set the table like that when guests are not present. If there are guests on the table already and you need to set up a new table because, you know, the first dining guest is gone, you put these glasses on the tray. If there are no guests and you're setting up the tables, preparing for the dinner, then of course you can carry them with uh, with your hand, but never in front of the guest. Clearing etiquette. Plates, glasses, and cutlery are cleared from the right after all guests have finished their meal, with exceptions for plates on the guest left. Now, so what that means? If a guest has finished their cocktail drink, we don't wait for all the guests to finish their cocktail drinks to clean the glass. No? We immediately go to the guests, we take the glass away, and of course we ask if they need another one, but we remove this empty glass, and if they want another one, we order another one. But when we're talking about plates, we're talking about appetizers, talking main course, talking about dessert, we wait for everybody to finish, and then we clean those plates. Now, exceptions from the right hand, right side is, like we said before, if we are clearing the butter plate, we're not going to reach all the way to the left of the guest in front of his face to remove the butter plate with our right hand. No, we're going to go from the left with our left hand and we'll remove it from there. Now, clearing the table, ladies first. If we go to the table and there is a lady and gentleman, of course, we're going to pick up the plate from the lady first and then the gentleman. If we have two ladies and two gentlemen, we're going to do the same thing. We pick up the plate from one lady. We go clockwise around the table. We keep pick up the plate from the other lady and then we keep going with the gentleman. Proper plate handling. Lift plates with cutlery using your right hand and hold the plate behind the guest in your left hand. So. We are taking the plate with our right hand, removing it from the table, and we are placing it in our left hand, and we just keep doing the same thing with all the guests on the table. Cutlery placement. Arrange the cutlery properly after clearing. Very important because you don't want the cutlery to start slipping all over the plate and just falling down on the ground and things like that. All right, so we arrange them 
you know, let's say put the fork, the knife with, between the fork uh, teeth and then we hold it with our thumb. Clockwise movement, we already said, anytime that is possible, we go around the table clockwise. Efficient clearing, if possible, remove all dinnerware for the finished course at once. Remove the bread plate and butter knife after the main course. And then about glass maintenance, continuously refill or remove empty glasses to ensure quite, you know, the guests have everything they need. The guests finish with their wine glass. If they drink only by glass, we go, we remove the glass and of course we ask the guests if they need another glass. Or if we do the service on the table uh, with the bottle of wine, then we just ask the guests if they need another glass. If they say yes, we bring the bottle, we pour, and then um, if they say no, we then remove the glass.